Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. Today's project features the Color Me Happy stamp set and I chose this stamp set because we're going to use the new Stampin' Blends markers. So I wanted something where we could do a little bit of coloring. So let me show you what today's project looks like. So here's the project that we're going to create today using the new Stampin' Blends. I love the way this card turned out and I really, really love the color combination for this card. I think it's just so striking on this design. So here are the blends that we're going to use today. We're going to use both of the shades of Smoky Slate, Bermuda Bay, and Rich Razzleberry. Then we're also going to use the light shade of Pumpkin Pie and the Color Lifter just in case we make any mistakes as we color today. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in some scratch paper and we're going to start with this piece of Whisper White and this is cut at 3 inches by 4 and a quarter inches. When you're using your Stampin' Blends, it's recommended that you use the Memento Tuxedo Black ink for that. It just helps prevent bleeding when working with your blends. So I'm going to go ahead and ink up the little string that comes in the stamp set and I want this string to come from the upper right hand corner and swoop across my card stock. So I'm just gonna stamp it right about here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So now I've got both of my little lantern images. I'm gonna start with this sort of round looking lantern, ink that up. And let's see, I might have to scoot this in a little closer. And I'm going to have it sort of go off the edge a little bit, stamp it right about there, okay. Then I'll do the next one. I'm gonna get pretty close here, a little closer than I did on my sample. And then another of the round ones, right about there. And then one more of this one, going off the edge a little bit, right about there. Perfect, that looks so cute. Now I've got this little scrap piece of Whisper White here. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the Oh Hello sentiment. Ink that up and stamp that right here. Perfect. Then I've got another piece of scrap Whisper White. I'm gonna stamp the little rounded bird, a little chubby bird. I'm gonna stamp her or him right about there. All right, so to get started with coloring my lanterns, I've got both shades of my Bermuda Bay here. I'm gonna start with the lighter shade and I'm using the brush tip end, that's the thick tip. And I'm just going to start coloring this in. And remember, I am no expert. I'm just, I'm learning and enjoying using these blends. So there may be a lot of really cool techniques you can use Whoops, and I just went under the lines. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and come in with my uh, darker shade of Bermuda Bay. And I'm just going to go around the edge just a little bit here, add a little bit of shading in. Okay, now I'm going to bring back that lighter shade of Bermuda Bay and I'm just going to blend these two together and they'll just melt into one another. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to come in with my color lifter. So as you can see, I went out of the lines here just a little bit on the uh, right hand side. So the great thing about the color lifter is you can take it and you can get rid of those little mistakes. So I'm gonna go to the fine tip side right here. Sorry, my finger's orange. I was eating some Cheetos. <laughs> okay, and so I'm just going to slowly work this back and forth and lift out that color. Okay. 
Okay, so now you can see where I have lifted that color right out. You can't even tell that I went out of the lines. And then I'm also going to bring in my color lifter because I wanna lighten the center even more here on this lantern. So I'm gonna use it to just lift up some of that color there and give a little bit more of a shadow effect. So lots of cool ways that you can use this color lifter to enhance your projects. All right, so now I'm gonna bring in my Rich Razzleberry and we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to color in the last two lanterns. So I'm starting with that lighter shade of the Rich Razzleberry and I'm just going to color in this entire lantern. Okay, so I've got that colored in. Now I can come in with the darker shade and do a little shadow effect here. Or a little shading, I should say. Okay, so I've just added a little bit of that dark shade. Now I'm just going to blend this out using my lighter shade of Rich Razzleberry. Okay, and now you can see that lighter effect there in the center. I really love how that turned out. So nice, so I'll go ahead and do this last lantern. All right, so I've got my lanterns complete. Now I'm gonna bring in my little bird and both shades of my Smoky Slate. And I'm gonna start with my lighter shade of Smoky Slate and color in my entire little bird. Now I'm gonna bring in that darker shade and just kind of go along the outline of my bird here. Around that little wing area. And down here around the belly. Now I'll go back in with that lighter shade and just blend this all together. Okay, now I'm coming in with that lighter shade of pumpkin pie and I'm gonna use the uh, fine tip here and just color in the beak and the little legs. And there's our finished little bird. So cute. All right, so now I'm coming in with my Starburst Punch and I'm gonna punch out my little bird. Now I've got some basic black cardstock and my two and a quarter inch circle punch. I'll pop that out. Then I'm just going to use my paper snips to trim out my, oh, hello. And I just wanna leave a very thin little white uh, border around this oh hello. All right, so now I'm just gonna bring in the rest of the pieces for this card. So I've got for the card base, this is a piece of Smoky Slate cardstock. This is cut at 11 inches by four and a quarter inches, and I've scored this at five and a half inches. And I'll just bring in my bone folder, give it a nice crease. Okay, there we go. Then on top of that, I've used the Oh My Stars embossing folder, which is one of my favorite ones in our current catalog. And I've embossed this piece of Smoky Slate. This is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I'll just use my Fast Fuse to adhere this down to the front of my card. 
Now I've got a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock that is just an eighth of an inch larger on all four sides to go um, as a layer behind our stamped lanterns. So I adhere these two together. All right, and then I've just got some dimensionals behind this layer and I'll add this right onto the front of the card in the center, right about right about there. All right, and we'll just get the little bird adhered to this piece of basic black. And I'll just add a few dimensionals onto the back here of my little bird. And we'll just put that little bird right about here. Okay. Okay, so for my oh hello, I'm gonna add a little piece of fast fuse to the right hand side, and then I'm going to add a couple of our mini dimensionals here. I think I'll do three. Okay, there we go. And then I'll just put that right about, right about here. There we go. Okay, and then to finish this card off, I'm just gonna add a few of our black jewel rhinestones. I love these things. I'm using the medium size here. Let's see, I'll put one here. I'm just going to add three of these right about there. Okay, and that finishes up this card, and I just love how it turned out. And of course, I had to create a coordinating envelope. So to do the envelope, since these uh, blends do bleed, I just put a piece of cardstock inside of my envelope when I colored in my lantern so that it didn't bleed through the back of the envelope. So there you go, a quick and easy card featuring our new Stampin' Blends. I absolutely love those blends. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and had fun using our new Stampin' Blends. Don't forget to order yours, and if you'd like to purchase any of the supplies that you saw me use today or get the measurements for today's project, you can head on over to my coordinating blog post that I've linked just below the video in the description notes. I've got it all listed over there for you, and there are some direct links to the products that I used today in the video description as well. So thanks again, you guys, and I'll be back with you very soon with another tutorial. Bye now.